Hello! Welcome to the live stream for October 29th, 2017. Thank you for tuning in to talk about artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, and neural networks today. We have an exciting show on tap for you, so sit back, relax, and enjoy as we go through this information here. So, take a look real quick at my Twitter, at Nels Lindahl, if you have any Q&A. Otherwise, Sundar Pichai, tweeting for the first time in a long time, that uh, Google is going to drop everything else they were going to address on Monday. If folks can agree on the best way to assemble a cheeseburger emoji. So that's exciting. 10,000 retweets on that. 26,000 likes. Sundar digging in. So wrote a uh, blog post yesterday just thinking about what my next Chromebook will be. Thinking about where I'll end up grow going in the Chromebook market. Um, <clears throat> if you're familiar with my interests and the things that happen, um, I get really interested in Chromebooks periodically. It happens a couple times a year. I start researching them. I want to buy one. Now, we'll dig in a little bit more about how buying a Chromebook may not be such a bad thing. That you can even do some machine learning and deep learning on that Chromebook. We'll talk about how that's possible here in just a second. But let's get through the rest of the uh, fun stuff we have on tap here. So the BBC News is reporting that Stephen Hawking gives a talk on black holes at Oxford University. Okay. World renowned theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking thrilled fans with a talk on black holes. It's pretty cool. If there's video, I'll share it. Um, always good to learn more about physics. So, there are some new seed funds to pursue AI, hard tech, in the Midwest, which is exciting. I can see here, you know, where I'm located in Denver is, is in this map, so that's good, right? That can't be a bad thing. TechCrunch.com reporting. Stories about seed funding often contain sappy metaphors about planting seeds and nurturing them to maturity. But it's pretty interesting to see where venture capital funds are going and what they're doing and where people are investing. So um, good to see some funds getting out there. So DeepMind has a bigger plan for its new Go Playing AI. QZ.com. QZ has been throwing out some great reporting over the last few weeks. Um, just digging more into what's going to happen with that, that component there. So it's a short news rundown today, but that's okay. Yesterday, I shared some thoughts on some different things that people had um, brought forward, including Google's new collaboratory tool. So, of course, I followed the links and I logged in here. Here it is. Nerds Rejoice, Google just released its internal collab tool. Um, I saw that from Chris here. And I was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to sign up for that. I'm going to see what this collab tool is all about. It seems exciting, right? Now, you saw that Sundar tweeting about cheeseburgers had 10,000 retweets. Chris tweeting about something that can change the game. So you're like, Nels, are you just exaggerating things? Are you being ridiculous right now? The answer is no, not at all. Like what Chris is sharing here about this collab tool is absolutely fantastic. Why is it so fantastic? So let's talk about what this uh, collab tool here is. I've blown the screen size up a little bit for it. So Collaboratory is a extension they were building on the Jupyter Notebooks. People love Jupyter Notebooks. So why, why is it so important? Why is this so revolutionary? What's so exciting about this? So on this machine right here, this Ubuntu, we're running the new 17.1. We uh, moved over to Artful Aardvark from Zesty Zapdos. Why is it so important? This machine right here, I have uninstalled TensorFlow. There is no TensorFlow installed. So Collaboratory is running from my Google Drive which means that they're giving us access to work within a Google virtual machine. So this workstation that I have right here runs an i7. 
I have a GTX 1060, plenty powerful to do any kind of work that I want to do on this machine. It's legit, it can do uh, actual work. But here, what's interesting in this collaboratory notebook is I can click right here where it says run cell and it will run it and it will say hello collaboratory. So on a Chromebook, right? Just think about this for a second. John Paul, my kindergartner, uses a Chromebook at school. This means right now, kids learning to code at school, digging into collaboratory, the game has changed, right? Literally, the game has changed. Now, let's, let's, let's show you real quick exactly what I mean. So collaboratory allows you to execute TensorFlow code in your browser with a single click. The example below adds two matrices, right? See, we're gonna do some, some matrices here, look. We're gonna import TensorFlow as TF, which normally would mean that you would need the TensorFlow module installed on your computer. You have to be ready to go with it. Now, kids in school no longer have to worry about installing or using hardware. They can use a virtual machine that Google has built, that Drive has access to. So just like the Hello Collaboratory model we had right there, you can now just click here, right? We're gonna run the cell. So the cell has not been executed in this session. We don't know what the runtime will be. I do, it's a couple seconds. Boom. Yeah, that's amazing, right? So anybody with access to a browser can now run TensorFlow from this collaboratory tool. Saving these things in Google Drive just think about how exceptional this change is they pushed out from Google, this, this thing that Google Research shared, right? Chris was pretty excited, right? Chris was saying, hey, my favorite internal Google tool is now public, collab.research.google, think IPython plus Google, Google Drive, so much of my life is in collab. I was like, what does this even mean? But it's obviously something Chris enjoys, so let's find out, right? So we got in there, we looked at it, it works. It means that in an education environment, you can take these drive notebooks. So someone is trying to teach somebody how to code and how to do things step by step by step in a methodical way can share a notebook to those students to their drive. Those students without having to have any of the hardware to have TensorFlow installed or having to worry about keeping everything up to date, having everything just ready to go. No, they don't have to worry about any of that infrastructure component. So now you've just taken away infrastructure as a barrier to being able to do advanced artificial intelligence using TensorFlow. That is just changing the game. Google is getting out there and changing the game. So a teacher, like I, I will dig in, I'll share my notebooks through uh, different ways so we can look at it, right? So we can walk someone through TensorFlow, getting and running sessions it's even it even gets more exciting, right? It's not just TensorFlow. So Collaboratory uses widely used laboratories like Matplotlab. So check this out. Scroll down just a little more. Boom. Right? You can import Matplot library. And uh, you can use it for visualizations without having to have any of that code installed on your machine. You can just run it from the browser. So they're also saying if you want to install a new library, you can pip install it from this collaboratory, which I think is fantastic. What I'm curious about, right, is what happens if you want to extend, maybe you want to extend what you're doing. Because now you got TensorFlow installed Maybe you want to install the libraries for your Movidius neural compute stick. So anybody that has a Chromebook, you grab a Movidius neural compute stick, you plug it into your Chromebook, you'd use this right here collaboratory to be able to get out to your very own visual processing unit, thus extending the Chromebook that you have from an educational space. You now get it out there to the newest hardware, the Myriad 2 VPU. That's amazing, right?
So you can extend it out. You can get new hardware, like the Movidius, the Intel new processing chip. You can run from this contraption right here, from this notebook. So I'm just thinking like, this is pretty fantastic. So let's see here, let's see this other, we'll, we'll plot this uh, little Venn diagram here. Boom, running from the collaboratory. So I can't tell you how excited I am about digging in here and being able to use TensorFlow over in the virtual machine. So this machine here that I normally use for deep learning or machine learning, this, this setup here is a fairly expensive computer running an i7 with a legit graphics card, got the M.2 memory ready to go, running 4K monitor. The Chromebook that I did that I tested this on last night is just a Chrome Asus flip, just a basic flip, a couple hundred bucks. It's the same or similar to the hardware that they're using now throughout schools nationwide. So if you can't tell by the tone of my voice and just my expressions, let me just say it just to make sure that you understand. This right here is a fantastic thing that Google has put forward. Like this is the collaboration tool. I can see how and why our friend Chris from was sharing that tweet, right? That this is one of the favorite collaboration tools. Cause if you think about it, so now you're, you're writing some code, you throw it in this notebook, just like you would a Jupyter notebook. You can share it with someone. So through Google drive, you can share a document to somebody really quick. So now you can collaborate. You can have share and have access to it. You can show somebody. I'm thinking of it from a teaching perspective, just thinking about, how you can use this to bring code to people. Now, now they were talking a little bit about having Google do these quick AI boot camps. I was like, wow, this is, this is how they can do that, right? This is the base. This has to be the seed. This has to be the basis of Google doing some boot camps and in artificial intelligence, getting people sharing some notebooks, being able to run these kind of complex sets using just a notebook connected to the internet and using a virtual machine that Google has, the drive has on the back end. I'm telling you, this is an amazing change in the game. Infrastructure being taken out of the equation and people just being able to do and work with artificial intelligence type of things like TensorFlow. This is fantastic, fantastic. So anyway, that's what I was interested in today. If you made it through 12 minutes of me talking about Hello Collaboratory and some other artificial intelligence related news, thank you for tuning in to the live stream. Of course, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and you know, feel free to leave a comment or whatever makes you happy. Focus on being positive, enjoying the day, and you know, just focus on the things you can control.